new studio. Who's this? I'm, I'm just joking with you, of course. I don't know who you are. <laughs> I never did. But I did get some real fake wood grain backdrops. And maybe it'll make this feel a little more cozy, a little more fun. We're just trying out some stuff with the studio. Still got the recording pan of Destiny. Um, but it's it's a kind of a fun video today. Because we're going to be looking at some figures that I, I don't have living in my town right now. But I am working on building them residence and occupations and such. Uh, the last old figure collection did pretty good, so most of these are, are a little on the older side. So let's start with the blacksmith first. He's a, he's a pretty classic figure. So for those of you that don't know, um, this hat is newer. It's a CMF Scarecrow, I believe. But this figure, I believe, is a pretty old one. This was what they did with armor. Uh, that's the, like, royal knights, I believe. But uh, it's kind of, it's it's the same thing they used for construction workers, I believe. I believe it was just a different sticker on there. And the sticker, the sticker's in pretty good condition. Let's give him the hat so that you get the full effect. Yeah, so he's got his, his hat down. He's got a little bit of shade going on in his eyes. But you got this emblem on the front of him. Nothing really going on in the back. And again, he's he's got a little bit of play wear, a little bit of love. You can tell from underneath his arms. If you haven't seen the last video, we go over a couple of the ways to tell if a figure's older. Of course, the stud on the head, that... Um, can I get that there? No. Nope. Yep, the stud on the head, uh, being solid, is an older trait. And then his uh, his body is an older one, too. And you can't see it almost at all with the... Uh, tabard on with the with the uh king's logo the crown but he's got this s pattern very nice and then if we actually pull this apart he's got the middle style uh like i like i think it kind of looks like teeth teeth and then you can see the direction of the uh the lego word in between the legs there maybe hmm. anyways an older older guy he's definitely been through a lot before i got him but I think he looks really good as a blacksmith from my town. So he's so he's definitely I'm working on a on a blacksmith shop. It's gonna be a little house with a little, little shop storefront something. And he's gonna he's gonna live there. Now of course he's got some he's got some friends and family. So he's got his wife here. Uh her pattern is kind of similar. Ooh, you hear that click? Yeah. These are old, some of them are a little stiffer. She's got a bad arm. Uh, can I get, yep, there it is, There's a big crack up in her arm. And kind of the same situation, she's got uh, an older face with a little bit of play wear on it. You can see some of the scratches and stuff in there. And if we pull the torso, nope, oh, it's the uh, older style as well. But that one had a lot of grip, oh, and it didn't want to go back on either. And then I gave her, this is the... Ninjago series CMF Misako hair, but I think it looks really nice to give them both like more modern headgear, very simple bodies. But they're uh, they're married and uh, they they run the blacksmith shop. Now he does the blacksmith has a friend, and this one's not necessarily older, but it's definitely a a more loved, more used. You can see all the scratches in the the feet are especially not up. Like look at those. There's teeth marks and bites and scrapes and play wear all over this bad boy like underneath the arm is very very worn i got him used um i believe this is literally just zane he might have even had a hairpiece so he's like less than full zane but uh he's like a clockwork guy and he's uh he's a pretty good looking clockwork robot i think i think it's like a prototype zane i'd really appreciate a comment on that um, but he's, he's buddies with these two and he helps out around the, the blacksmith. He's, he's made of metal. So I think that's a, it's kind of fun little, little tie in there. So, um, next up I'm going to do a couple, I got three figures that I know I want in my town that have zero points of articulation. I know what you're thinking. Like Lego figures have, you know, five, one for each leg. So two, two for the arm and the, uh, the head. And then I guess if you count the hands, I guess that's, is that seven? Hmm. 
I don't know. I always counted them as a five point articulation. Anyways, zero are points of articulation is this tiny dog. Now, some of these figures I have shown before, and I think I've mentioned that the dog is going to live in the town, but he's... I don't know what he's going to do. He's, he was going to work in the the uh, tavern, the bar, the pub as a server, because um, I, I, he got that hand up like he's holding a tray, but um, the tavern bar thing that's under construction is a lot smaller than, um, than it was originally. And again, I, I guess I could give you a close-up of his face. He's got some play wear and stuff. But he's he's a really weird, he feels very matte, not smooth like you'd think Lego would. And I'm uh, pretty sure he's Lego. Yeah, you can see the Lego stuff underneath. Um, well, I don't know if I can see the actual Lego logo. I am very confident that he's Lego. He sits on studs. He's got stud receptacles. Um, I want to say he's from Belleville? Bevel? I don't know. Uh, so the next up is a, a postal worker in zero points of articulation. It's just a printed elves owl. And this one's not in the worst condition. But um, it's just a fun little figure that I have. Lots of shine on it, but it's a it's a male carrying owl because that's an original idea for a fantasy town. Now the last one, I've definitely shown this man before, but I've kind of come up with a new way to house him. Uh, he's a gremlin in uh, in my mind. He's he's a little driver from the Zalaxis, I believe. But I really like the way he can be very expressive in the cage. Little cage build gives him a lot of like very angry, like I'm gonna get you kind of like motions. I just I feel that's very appropriate for his character size and stuff. And it it's kind of cheating a point of articulation if you want to get really technical. Is that he looks he's got no movement, but. He, because he's moving around inside the cage, it gives him a lot of uh, personality, I think. So, little gremlin monster boy. Now, um, let's do this guy. So this guy's also been featured before. He is one of my town guards. I'm very much considering giving him a classic cop torso, but part of his charm is he's really floppy. His hands are just like really loose. This one's the slightly snugger one, but it's just, like you can you can flick it and it goes back. So his legs are also very loose. As you can see they move when I flick him too. Uh, but anyways, very old guy. He's um, he's wearing some very newer style armor with uh, with a big snake based blade underneath there. The head is a slightly older. It is the vented, but like it's got. Let's let's pull them all apart. So this is like a not a terribly old torso, and it's obviously too modern for a fantasy setting, but it's fine. The legs are got some chewing up on them. That's why I gave him a big heavy set of armor because I think that he deserves to be safe. Because he just he's he's living he's living his life, trying to trying to do his best. So, yeah. Anyways, that's, um, I think that's, <sighs> I think it's a good looking one. I am also tempted to give him a clip on the back of his armor so that he can hold his axe. But I kind of like the, um, the kind of way that I, I feel him patrolling the town. Yeah, his hand falls out a lot. The way I see him patrolling the town, I don't think his arm's cracked either. Like, there's no crack mark that I can see. Uh, but I see him like kind of dragging his axe around because he's old and tired perhaps. It's hard to get him to stand because he's just so loose at walking. But like that's that's a fun, to me at least, idea of him just kind of like waltzing around town, keeping the peace, you know, threatening to break up some fights or something, telling people they may best move along. He's just a cute looking figure. Um, and, uh, I don't know, just, I think that he'll make a good town guard. Um, let's do, let's do a couple more. So this guy is a, is a fun one. He's a misprint, I believe, is that his mouth is printed extra large, but he's got nothing really fun about him. He's a newer pirate's body. He's holding, 
sold him a bottle of bottle of grape juice or some wine or something. And uh, he just he looks fun with the with the dirty blonde like Luke Skywalker hair or something. You know, just sitting. Oh, <laughs> that that drunkard. Um, I've got four more, and I guess I guess I'll show them all. So this guy is the priest of the town, and he's a, he's a Minecraft body, so he's newer. I don't know how old the hood is. The hood's an older-ish piece, but his head is definitely on the... Did I get to focus? There it is. The head has is, is got some kind of some scratches and play marks, and of course the solid stud. But he just, um, he's just an older dude. And uh, I like that. For my priest is that he's got like a backstory. Maybe he was an adventurer or something. And he'd settle down. I'm gonna make him a little church or something, a little tabernacle. Uh, so this guy is the mayor of the town, and he's he's an older older figure. Nothing too special on him. Um, you can see the older style uh, body and stuff. But he just with that bowler hat, he just strikes me as a, as a shady shady type dude, and. Uh, of course, every shady type dude needs a henchman, and uh, also he's got a, he's got a royal mail symbol on this guy. He's got the um, not reinforced chin chin strap on the helmet, the classic tile helmet. Uh, he's got a solid stud as well, and he's in good condition. So is the mayor. I feel like they've lived uh, pretty peaceful lives for the most part, and um, yeah, I think that's. I think that's appropriate for these two, because this guy does the dirty work, and he doesn't really like, you know, not killing or anything, but buying votes, maybe, talking to pol other politicians from nearby towns, just, just stuff. Last up, we got this dude. He's just a farmer from nearby. And he's, again, a little bit older of a body, but he's got an exoforce head, so he's got a lot of emotions he can portray, and I just feel like a, a very loudmouth farmer coming in town causing trouble. It's a fun little figure, and he's, he's again, I think he deserves, deserves a good life, so. Kind of rushed through those last ones a little bit, but they're, they're slightly less fleshed out and less interesting in my mind. But anyways, that's, uh, that's some more figures. The new studio, uh, let me know how you think about that, because, uh, it might be here to say it might not. It's hard to, hard to tell you guys these things, but, um, yeah, so. That's really it. Uh, there's an automatic video, maybe, if I remember to put one. There's a sub subscribe, and uh, somewhere else there's a video that I handpicked for you. You're welcome. If you think, uh, you know, you want to see more videos from me, you want me to, to spend a little more money on Lego, you can always send me a couple bucks on Coffee. Ko uh, it's linked in the description, but uh, liking and commenting is, is really cool, too. Subscribing, whatnot. Bye.